The political divide between high school boys and girls across America has widened tremendously in recent years as more boys identify as conservative, while girls are moving to the left, according to a recent survey. I actually interviewed some young guys for this story, like s several of them, and what I heard was a bunch of stuff. So Donald Trump, um, me his messaging came across loud and clear to young guys. Um, I mean, a couple, more than one source, young men I interviewed said he speaks like a in some ways like a like a high school student um he came across loud and clear one of my sources a student at gw university told me you know the guy who's playing it on his computer in his room and screaming at the screen you know trump is was his president um and and i interviewed a source from the heritage foundation who was talking about the idea that you know the democratic party to some extent uh has kind of a masculinity problem a problem with uh attracting the the male vote because so much of again per my source so many of the planks in the democratic platform right now are about uh, gender equality and related issues and guys aren't all that enamored of the word liberal uh, if you think about it young guys to them that kind of signifies weakness this is a message that goes back to like the 80s remember with uh the first Bush president and uh, this idea that liberalism was soft and weak. Uh, guys don't like that word. Uh, that may be part of the, what you're seeing in those data right there is guys just are turned off by the word liberal. Okay, if you would have seen Katie Petrick drinking a glass of water during that, when, when he said Democrats have a, pro, have a masculinity problem, she almost did a spit take when she was <laughs> drinking. It was hilarious. Well, but yeah, talk about an understatement. Yeah, understatement, Democrats have a masculinity dumb, problem. Yeah. That's one of the issues here. That's Messaging, messaging. It's, it's all the messaging. Well, yeah, Democrats, I mean, what has been their platform for decades? Everything is Roe v. Wade and abortion and women's right to choose and women. And, yep. it, and now we don't even know what a woman is. So what's going to be fascinating mm -hmm. to me is if there is going to be a little bit of rubber band effect, a little whiplash here coming back for women when the, with the transgender movement blowing everything up in terms of women's sports. Like, again, we're the feminists. They should be defending actual women. And are women going to wake up and say, these Democrats aren't doing anything for me other than encouraging me to kill a baby and then to also let a man win a sport that I'm competing in and I've worked so hard for, hmm, maybe I should try a different avenue. But <clears throat> the, the simple fact that we have the young men, the you know seniors um, in high school, they're getting more conservative, which to me means quite potentially even fewer of them are gonna go into college because they realize what a waste it is. And with more females becoming even more liberal, even more women are going to go into college. Yep. So that's going to be a, even like the divide between colleges um, in terms of male-female ratio. And yes, just male and female, none of the other genders that they claim, um, is already a 60-40 split with more women in college than men. Do you hear that, everyone, America? Mm -hmm. Did you know that there are more women and have been for a while now, more women in college than men? So when you come out here, Democrats, if you want to talk the politics again and, and say, oh, well, men are always, you know, women are so deprived and we can't get an education and all this blah, 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 garbly gook. Nope, that's a lie. Yep. Easy lie. Well, I like what the psychotherapist said, Thomas Kirsten, when he said uh, he was talking on Fox and Friends there. One of the things he said, we are creating this idea that if you're a male, then there's something wrong with that mm -hmm. and yeah. you're bad. No. So, I mean, kids are getting this from the early ages in school, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the whole, <laughs> Democrats have a masculinity problem.